This is 2003 Chevy Impala. Uh, we're gonna be doing the uh, passenger side motor mount. So first thing you wanna do is jack up the vehicle, get the wheel off the ground, and then we'll remove the wheel. Now let's remove this wheel. All right. Take off these 519 millimeter lug nuts. Next, undo the Phillips screws. One. Once you remove those two screws, now we have access to the motor mount that we're replacing. This is the condition. See how bad that looks. And now you want to get a piece of wood that you can put underneath your jack so you don't damage the engine when you're trying to jack it up. There we go. Now let's jack it up. Now, as you can tell, all the space we have there. All right, now let's remove this 15 millimeter nut. Which is part of the bracket. And then you also got a 15 here, but the, uh, you gotta have to use a wrench because the subframe is actually in the way. Right, so let's remove those two bolts. Let's get this one that's also a 15 and loosen it. Go. Hope you guys can see that one. There's the other one right here. It's all dirty, but break that free as well. And remove those two bolts. There's the first one. There's the second one. There's the second one. Hands a mess. Now you can jack the motor up some more. And let's move on to this bracket. <laughs> let's move to this bracket here. Dear God. Anyway, next you got two bolts or nuts that's underneath the um underneath these motor mounts here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna show you. Uh, where those nuts are and they're most likely 15s as well let's see where that hole is where the motor mount so it is it's 15 got a 15 here millimeter nut here and one uh, let me get a smaller and there's one there and now on this one
full 15s. The next thing you could do is pull this motor mount out of its place. Just try to look up and to the side if you can. Let's see here. No, not maybe not to the side, just up and out, right? Or I could jack the motor up some more. I might do that, have to do that with the next one. So let me try to jack, see if she'll jack up some more while I'm putting too much pressure on it. Oh yeah, oh wow. We got a lot of room, there we go. All right, I'm gonna just clean up this area uh, so I'll show you guys uh, pretty much what we're gonna do next. All right, now we take a new motor mount. Just gonna just place it in and it just drops into place. Uh, we're going to screw this, these two 15s next. Alright, start by hand. that down and you do the same thing to the other one you start that by hand and then we'll torque it the specs all right I'll show you guys what's next let's torque this bolt same thing to the other one go all right now we're gonna lower this engine some so we can place this bracket make sure it's tight so you don't want that coming undone okay let's try to lower this down some She'll play. Come on, girl. We gotta push this motor back some more. see here so I can drop it a little bit more ah, close. All right. drop it a little bit more and that might be it oh where's she go a bit more all right there she go got the thread started I start this one by hand and the next one you lost your space so it's a little bit more difficult on the, uh, the side where the axle is Let's see here if I could. Cause I always like to start by hand first. Let's see here. Uh, nope. I'll try use a rent. Low turn this wrench. It's not helping me out there. Oh. Here we 
There we go. Alright. Now we... <clears throat> get this down. I could do this one by hand. That one's easy. Alright, let's tie these bolts down. And then, um... Pretty much you'll be done. Just get them snug. Just tighten those two 15s down. Let's tighten this uh, bolt here down as well. There you go. And then once that is actually, uh, then once this is tightened down, Pretty much you're done. Just gotta put this splash shield back on on the wheel, and that's it. So guys, always remember for better, faster service, quick fix here. Thank you guys.